Hi, this is Bilal. Today I would like to give you a short tutorial about uh, how to create a landscape in 3D Studio Max 9. Any version of 3D Studio Max above 7 would do the work for you. Well, uh, first of all, reset all the previous workspaces and then go to the patch grids, select the quad patch, give it a length say 200, width say 200, and the number of segments you want to create along X and Y axis, set its color to green. Okay, and uh, let me align it along the origin. The next step is to convert the patch into editable patch and then you have to add the noise to the patch in order to make it more realistic noise. Select C D equal to one fractal X and Y and the Z axis will be the axis along which I want to create the patch. Uh, select its value anything uh, from zero to fifty. Okay, now you are done with the patch creation. Uh, the next step is to create the tree portion. Go to the standard primitives, select the sphere, S set its radius equal to 15 and uh, segment say 18. You are done with the <coughs> leaves portion of the tree. Uh, and the next step is to create the trunk of the tree. Here you go, set its radius say 3, height say minus 40 and height segment and cap segment say 1 each and then the sides say 6. Align the trunk just below the sphere. Okay, now you are done with the tree creation process. Select the perspective view and then the next step is to convert both the leaves and the stem into editable poly. Well, uh, ne the next step is to attach the leaves to the trunk. Uh, for this you can use the attach function which is available in the edit geometry portion. Uh, select the attach and then the object uh, to which you want to attach the selected object say this now uh, this is just like the one object uh, whole complete tree okay the next step is to assign the IDs to the individual uh, leaves and the trunk select the ID say equal to 1 and then select the trunk set its ID say equal to 2 now once this uh, IDs are being set now the next process is to assign the material to the tree uh, while selected select press M and then uh, this uh, we as we have created uh, multi objects in a single object um, so select multi sub object from the tools discard or material uh, we have got the leaves and the stem so we will select the number of materials equal to 2 uh, this is the ID of the uh, leaves so we will give it a color of uh, leaves dark kind of green color ok the next step is to assign the color to the trunk which will be brown Okay, give the name to the leaves and then give the names to the trunk. And, uh, green color for leaves and the brown color for the trunk. Now uh, assign material to the selection. This will uh, assign material to the selection. The next step is to uh, scatter multiple copies of this trees uh, on this patch for the for that you will use the scatter function and uh, which is available in the compound objects select this uh, and then the pick distribution object will be which will be the object upon which you want to scatter uh, the multiple trees uh, I will select the quad patch one well uh, then you have to select the number of copies uh, duplicates uh, say I want to create 30 duplicates 
and then uh, uncheck the perpendicular option well this is, this is uh, the base scale and uh, what uh, it basically represents is the as you can see all the trees are of same size in order to create uh, of different random size select it equal to 50 and then uh, duplicate 30 select that scale equal to 90 90 90 and lock expect ratio should be checked the next step is to go to the display hard distribution object mm, I think we are done with the distribution and scattering process the next step is to move all the trees a bit upward from the ground okay now you are done with this portion now as you can see these uh, some of these trees are uh, away from uh, this patch uh, so we would like to remove them first of all select the trees portion editable poly select this you can remove it one by one okay uh, the next step is to create uh, or to assign a background to the whole object um, select the rendering and then the environment uh, environment map bitmap my uh, documents uh, my downloads background preview here you can see okay the next step is to zoom forgot to delete uh, this tree okay uh, the last step is to render the whole scene output size HTTP 1920 into 1080 and uh, select the render button you can see uh, the rendering process is complete.